Hi y'all and welcome to episode 34 of Thursday Tidbits. My name is Kathy Rukat smith and I'm a realtor with Palmetto Coastal Homes in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Today we're going to talk about hurricane preparedness. Welcome to June and the start of hurricane season. Whether this is your first time living in South Carolina during hurricane season or you're an old pro, it's always a good idea to have a plan in place for hurricane season. Today, I'm gonna to give you four tips on how to prepare. First, know your evacuation zone. Both Ori and Georgetown counties divide their coastal areas into three evacuation zones, A, B, and C. It's important to remember that not all parts of Ori and Georgetown County are in an evacuation zone and the evacuation zones are set up for storm surge and not winds. It's very possible that you could be in the western part of Ori and Georgetown counties and still feel the effects of hurricane force winds even though you're not in one of those three evacuation zones and you may not have been told to evacuate the area. You can always evacuate even if your zone is not called to evacuate. Most of our street signs now have a letter underneath the street name indicating if it's an evacuation zone A, B, or C. You can also find your evacuation zone through the Horry County or Georgetown County government website. I'll include links to those sources either in the description or in the comments below depending on where you're watching this video, so you'll have those on hand. And if you're in Horry County, you can actually click on an interactive map and enter your address and see exactly which zone you're in. Number two, know your evacuation route. As a hurricane is approaching, a, the governor may call for an evacuation and will let you know what zones need to evacuate. The governor will let you know when this will happen and if any lanes will be reversed on the interstate. As you can imagine, when an evacuation is called, there will be many people on the roads. That's why it's important to know your evacuation route. Normally, you may go up 501 to reach the western parts of Horry County and the other parts of South Carolina. In a hurricane evacuation, the counties have designated certain roads as part of the hurricane evacuation route so that not everyone is funneled into just a handful of roads. Both counties have websites where you can see your evacuation route and know how to best get out of town from your home. I will include links to those websites either in the description or in the comment section, depending on where you're watching this video. Well before you need to leave town, get familiar with your evacuation route and print a hard copy of your directions. I know a lot of us depend on the GPS either in our phone or in our car on a day-to-day -day basis. However, during an evacuation with so many people in one spot, your cell phone may not work as well as it normally does. Also, when coming back into town, the cell towers could have been damaged from the hurricane. So having that hard copy of the directions or knowing exactly which way to go to get back to your home will be very helpful. Number three, know where you'll go if you need to evacuate town. If you're lucky enough to have friends or family a few hours away, see if you can stay with them. If you do not have friends or family nearby, you'll either need to reserve a hotel or stay in one of the area shelters. If you decide to stay in a hotel, you may find that those hotels closest to Ori and Georgetown County fill up fast. So you may have to reserve a hotel further away than you thought you would. So plan ahead for those reservations. Number four, get your information from a local reliable source. Great local sources of information include the state and county emergency management divisions, your local news and weather stations, the local police departments, and other county and state agencies. Follow these groups on social media so you can keep up to date on what's going on in town, even if you evacuated. I will include links to some of the groups I follow on Instagram and Facebook. Start planning now for a hurricane and know where you'll go and what you need to do if you should decide to leave town. In future episodes of Thursday Tidbits, I will give you some other ways you can prepare for hurricane season. Have a great day.